some of your approach. I mean, mm. sometimes we take a hard bite. Mm. It helps us as police. Nowadays, when I listen to you, I even panic. Why? Maybe, hey, why do you panic? The way, the way you, uh, uh, Papa. You know Papa. <laughs> Figuratively, he bites as hard as he can. <laughs> okay. And of course, when he puts his fangs into you, you certainly feel it. I think it could watch Donnie's bite. <laughs> You know, I've watched you. Sometimes our people disagree with you, but mm. I mean, I understand some of your approach. I mean, mm. sometimes we take a hard bite. Mm. It helps us as police. Nowadays, when I listen to you, I even panic. Why? Maybe, hey, why do you panic? The way, the way you, uh, uh, Papa. You know, Papa. <laughs> Figuratively, he bites as hard as he can. <laughs> okay. And of course, when he puts his fangs into you, you certainly feel it. I think it could watch Donnie's bite. Bismillahir Rahman Rahim. Alhamdulillah, Rabbi Al-Alameen. Hasbun Allah wa Neem al -wakil. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? And yet though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for you art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cap ran it over, and surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Assalamu alaikum. It's Wednesday. Welcome to Johnny's Bite. Thank you to all those who spend time to pray and share motivational words with me. I don't take it for granted at all. And I pray for you that the Lord will continue to strengthen you as well. But this morning, if you are looking for the identities of the children of God who went to invade the studios of United Television like hooligans and hoodlums as they are, and the party has disassociated itself from them. But the conversation is that these are their faces. And the new publisher, headed by Halifax and Sadu, my good brother, has put them up there nicely. So if you buy the publisher, you see them. The children of God, I'm told there are a deputy, there's a deputy regional uh, organizer there. There are other party executives who are there at the lower levels. And they went there to foment trouble. We're waiting for how the new patriotic party will deal with them. We're waiting. Because we cannot embolden such crass attitude in this 20, 21st century. We can't embolden it. And we cannot endorse it because the, the new patriotic party came into the picture at the time when everybody said Jerry Rollins was, had done the most. So... The Kufour regime was coming in to sanitize the system so that the, <clears throat> the association of violence and such hooliganism with the NPP is never to be expected. And so I, I find it quite sad that people are going around defending it. It hurts. It hurts. I want to say good morning to the IGP as well. This morning, and remind him that Ahmed Swali is still dead. Ahmed Swali is still dead. He was under witness protection. And witness protection, for those of you who know the nuances, it is the police that will provide the protection for the witness. When he was shot, three IGPs have since come and gone. IGP uh, Dampari now, IGP Opon Buenu, and IGP Apitu to three. Ahmed Swali remains dead. And I, I made a suggestion to the police that just last two weeks, uh, just last two weeks, or last week, I should say, the Baumia and Kennedy and Japan campaign teams, they were trading allegations as to how this man died. And I'm inviting the police and encouraging them to do their work. I will stop putting Ahmed Swale's picture there until the police wakes up to do their work. Because again, I'll say, if I say, for example, that, oh, Decca, I know that you killed so-so and so, they would call me and call Decca. The same Ghana police. So we want the Ghana police to be up and doing. I will not stop talking about this until they fix it. Because it affects our World Press Freedom Index, you know, view. It affects our democracy. 
It affects freedom of speech. It affects independence of the press. It affects the abuse of power. So people must be invited. From the person who put his picture up to the people who are not pointing, accusing fingers at each other, they must be invited by the police. Let it not be said that the gentleman was just killed and that's it. The Muslim community is quiet. The Zongo community is quiet. This is one of your own. Start asking the right questions. Now, I learned also with a bit of pain that one of the young ladies who went to the Occupy Julobi House demonstration and was out there talking about the cost of dialysis and how somebody who was under 30, I think a 24-year-old man had died. Well, yesterday, I saw and watched with pain how she said 48 hours after she went out to demonstrate, her employers called her and sacked her. 48 hours. They called her and sacked her. So the question that came to my mind was that, is Ghana under some kind of siege or something? That you live in a civilized society trying to mimic the best democracy in the world, the U.S. democracy. People go and demonstrate. We even have our key state actors go and say, oh, Black Lives Matter and all of that. We even do a vigil here. We hold a vigil here for them. Even though when our own people fall into trouble, like what's happening in the Devota region now, we don't give a, we don't give a hoot about it. And people go for demonstration. And persons within the private sector, well, it, she says she will not want to connect it, but it's quite strange. You go for demonstration, 48 hours later, you are sacked from work. People are now being shut down for expressing themselves. And what she was talking about was a genuine concern. It was just around that same time that I was putting, I kept putting up the receipts to, 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 to say that what the Kolebu Teaching Hospital was talking about, the fact that oh, the increment in the dialysis uh, processes was just a proposal. I had not been, we are not implemented. I showed you receipts, eight of them. They said, oh, we affected only six. I said, eight, I showed you, and I, I could have shown you some more receipts. So people can't speak up again. People cannot speak up again. Is that where we are going now? People cannot speak up again. If they speak up, their, their media houses are either being engaged on a political level or people are, being, people are calling to say, I don't like this one, I don't like this one. And yes, and I paid for you a video of Prophet Kofiodro. Play that video again for Prophet Kofiodro. Play, play his video for me, the latest one. There are people who, I mean, I was shocked that a letter was written from the current government to UTV, telling UTV, UTV, uh, take out, we don't like the entertainment, we don't like this guy on the entertainment show, we don't like, you are determining to a private TV station who you like and who you don't like. No wonder Dan Kwansem has been removed on Thursday afternoon, no wonder. Somebody can sit at home and be making instructions I don't like this guy. I don't like this guy. Nonsense. No wonder afternoon they have taken such a content and threw it away. And they replaced it with movies. Movies. A woman is lying on a man. Movies. Let me tell you. The fact that you are my mother doesn't mean I can't tell you truth. Yeah. I don't care who you are. The fact that you are my wife doesn't mean I cannot look you in your eye and tell you the truth. Please. You want to take us off completely? Take it off. But the truth will be spoken. Who is the main character and said that? Unto me in Kano and shed da. So for thank you. The truth is one. And you know, Nanado campaigned on the altar of hope, on the altar of taking away fear, on the altar of reassuring the people, on the altar of providing jobs in excess, 
on the altar of making people's lives much more comfortable and on the altar of allowing people to express themselves freely. He says he loves a boisterous media. He would prefer that than a silent praise singing media. So what changed? Has the president, Nana Dodan Kwekufado, taking time off his busy schedules to speak about what happened at UTV? Yesterday, I told you that he led Dr. Reku Brobe. He represented him in court over the radio eye issues. I read Article 162 to you, guaranteeing the rights and freedom of the press. People within his party have invaded the media house. Anytime you talk about Nana Dodankwe Kufado and the media, they say, oh, he helped to repeal the criminal libel law. In fact, the credit is not even given to uh, Gentle Jack J. Kufado. It's given to Nana Dodankwe Kufado. But when the occasion, the occasion came, and he had to rise to the occasion, when something was said about his wife, the first lady, state institution, national security, picked up the radio presenter in the dead of the night, and they used the courts to deal with the person as if he had committed a crime. That was a civil matter. The president said nothing about it. So when you look at, oh, he repealed the criminal libel law, and, this, and then they use under him as president, where he can pick up the phone and call everybody, say, stop this nonsense. He has said nothing about it because he is now not the one under pressure. He is the one in power, enjoying power. Has he picked up the phone? Has he said anything that, look, and then this next year in May, when the press freedom index comes and we drop further, they will say, oh, then there's nothing on toward. I'll give you a plethora. This is the way I put the videos together. I'll put all the videos together. Because if we sit and watch, things will rot. It, will not, it may not affect us. It may affect the next generation. It will affect the next generation. Put up the Aji Alima Bahama uh, screenshot for me. The Attorney General says that Professor Kwabena Frimpong Boating was unable to provide the right evidence to support his claims that persons within the office of the Chief of Staff, MPs, Party Executive, etc., were participating in the raping of the state in the name of Galamsi. This is a story from September 10, 2018, published at 1210. Zadok, KJC, published that. The minister who was in charge of lands and natural resources was Hajia Halima Mahama. She has since been made an ambassador. She called all the MMDCs into a room. And she said, some metropolitan municipal and chief ex district executives are said to be engaging in illegal mining, popularly referred to as Galamsi. The Minister of Local Government and Rural Development, Haji Ali Mahama, who disclosed this, said the government would soon name and sack all such MMDCs. Haji is a lawyer, serving an under, an under another lawyer. Lawyers know the weight of words. And lawyers know that your words convict you faster than any other thing. She is aware. So when she comes to say this, after putting all the MMDCs in a room, it means that she has evidence. That is why I told you that when the president said, oh, if you say somebody is engaged in Galam, say, bring evidence. I say, Mr. President, the evidence is in your cabinet. The woman who says she has evidence is right sitting in front of you in your cabinet. September 2018, did we bother to ask Haji Alima Mahama where the evidence she had used to? Where it was? Many, many months and many years down the line, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, five years on. We say that Professor Frepo Martin failed to provide evidence, but he added pictures of the degradation of the land, then you, you rely on pen drives. You don't go onto the ground where he said it. Because if trees have just been even planted there, there are forensic experts who can tell you that this tree is three months old. This tree is a year old. So at the time when the good prof mentioned it, people maybe had started planting or replanting or whatever it is. You didn't go onto the ground. 
He said he didn't support it with evidence. You see how we, we pretend to be fighting crime in this country, but we don't fight it. The Attorney General should, should contact Madam Ali Mahama and ask Madam Ali Mahama the evidence that she had in 2018 because crime does not expire. Where is that evidence? And I decided to quote the Daily Graphic because that's the government's newspaper, the state-owned press, so that you don't say, oh, these, these reports are skewed. Are we really concerned about fighting Galamsey? Children are being born without limbs. Children are being born without certain organs, forming well. The pathologist in Kumasi told us. And we are here, we say, oh, there's no evidence. So we are, we are clearing the people to do wrong. We are clearing people to do wrong. In the year when we told everybody in this country that we had banned all forms of mining. So people who were doing genuine mining, who had gone to the banks for facility to go and buy excavators, etc., blah, 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 blah. We stopped all of them from doing any kind of mining. Yet, within that same year, we were busy renewing licenses for our party people to go and dig. When you finish, you come and tell me that you care about me. Which part of your action shows that you care about me? Which part of your attitude and your conduct shows that you care about me? You don't care about me. You don't care about me. You just, you just treat me anyhow. You go around town and you see the water that people are drinking. We started the, the Galamse fight. We, the press, we started it. On our own. Nobody held a gun to our head. Nobody tied our hands. Nobody threatened. We started it on our own. We are doing our thing. Championing it every morning. I was on TV3 New Day. I was championing it. I remember. Daily Graphic will put something on the front page. The Daily Heritage will put... Everybody in the media was doing something to you know, call out the Galamseyers who were raping the state. Then government says, oh, Abansi me, they want Jim. And then, and the prof said, I wrote this report for the attention of the president through the chief of staff. If the report had not leaked, would we have even known about it would the Attorney General have been interested in it? He said some of the ministers abandoned the committee because they were also neck deep in the crime. It's a serious matter. Operation Vanguard, Operation Gallam Stop, Operation This, Operation That. We spend money. We go and bring people's fathers who are soldiers, policemen, immigration. We go and put them together in the bush. Soldiers have been caught involved in the Gallam Serot. National security people have been caught involved in the So when you read all those things and then you have your attorney general who is supposed to be helping you to fight crime, come to tell you that they couldn't find the evidence. Have, ah, but the evidence is right before you. Mr. Attorney General, can't you see the brown water? Mr. Attorney General, are you not listening to the reports? Mr. Attorney General, did you not hear the Al Jazeera gold mafia story where we wrote... The president, the president, oh, the letter is not supposed to be in the public domain, but the response that Al Jazeera wrote to you, we are still waiting for you, the gold, gold mafia. Do you really care about the people? Or is it just the prestige of power and the position of power and how it benefits you that is important? Please come again with, I don't have evidence. There's, they, he didn't support them. If the man says, everything you wanted, I put them there. It is for you to go for further and better particulars. Get off that air-conditioned office and go into the bush where Galancy is happening. Then you will see for yourself that there's evidence. Connect them. I've told you, finally, every excavator that is brought into this country is ordered through the port. It has a name on it. There's a clearing agent. If you are really serious about fighting Galamse, you will trace those who imported it, you will trace the clearing agents, you will trace the owners, and you will find those who are perpetrating crime on the state. Stop the lazy work. Get up and go and work. We have 10 minutes after this. Call into the show. 055-924-2717. 055-924-2717. And 055-691-0154. Have a good morning. I swore an oath on 7th January to be faithful and true to the Republic of Ghana. And that is exactly what...